I live in a townhouse which is tall and thin and it has a lot of concrete, metal, glass, terrible for Wi-Fi. With a stock router for my ISP, I get signal in maybe 25% of my house. What's up internet? Taking a look today at the largest router I've ever seen, the ROG Rapture GTAX 11000 Pro. It's huge, it looks good, but do you need it in your life? On a basic level, perhaps not because your ISP connection already comes with a stock router that gives you the basic things. It allows you to connect to the internet and gives you a Wi-Fi hotspot. But if you want to get a reliable internet connection to get the best possible speed to your devices from your internet connection, not to mention reliable Wi-Fi access for those devices, then you might want to consider a third-party router, specifically the ROG Rapture. Behind the scenes time ngayon, because we're literally behind my computer, usually where I stash my router. Now the problem with the stock router is like the problem with having a stock cooler. They're very basic, they get the job done, but you can't rely on them for heavy loads. Tsaka isipin mo, tong stock router na to, this is the cheapest piece of hardware that your ISP could provide. Because your ISP doesn't want to spend when you get an internet plan for them. Cheap is good for the ISP, not so good for the end user. Do you really want to rely on the cheapest piece of hardware that somebody else could find para sa reliability and sa speed dun sa internet connection mo? That's why people come up with something like this. Getting a third-party router like the AX11000 Pro ensures you're getting the latest technology like Wi-Fi 6, which has a theoretical max speed of 9.6 gigabits per second compared to only 3.5 gigabits per second for Wi-Fi 5. Yung stock router ko, hindi ko nga alam ano yung Wi-Fi version niya. A router like the Rapture also is able to send Wi-Fi over a larger portion of the spectrum which translates into better Wi-Fi performance. Even more important than the eight bonkers antennas on the Rapture is its ability to form a mesh network with different models of ASUS routers. So yung maganda dito, kung mag-upgrade ka, hindi masasayang yung luma mong router because 90-95% of all ASUS routers now have this mesh capability. And actually to be fair, these Zen Wi-Fi's on their own are pretty good. We have an old video reviewing them. They were very good at getting Wi-Fi throughout my house. But that really got supercharged when I used them in conjunction with the ROG Rapture to form one complete mesh network. So I have one of the Zen Wi-Fi pods in this hallway. You'll notice everything is wireless except for the power connection. But data and everything else is getting, transmitting, communicating with the ROG Rapture completely wirelessly. So I can deploy these Zen Wi-Fi pods anywhere in the house that I need better Wi-Fi coverage. And to be honest, kinabanao dun sa integration using old devices with a newer device, making them all come together in one mesh network. Because a lot of companies promise that the promises sound good, but usually in execution, it's super hard to do to get different devices talking to each other. Fortunately, sobrang dali lang through the ASUS mesh network. It was super easy to connect the Zen Wi-Fi pods, completely different models, to the ROG Rapture, which is serving as my main router now. And the beauty of the mesh network is, is you can keep adding hardware as needed. Kung may dead spot sa bahay mo that needs Wi-Fi, you can add an ASUS device with mesh capability, add it to your network, stick it in that dead zone, and now that dead zone has Wi-Fi. As I mentioned in our other router review videos, my preferred way of testing internet connection speed and Wi-Fi coverage is to see if Netflix will load in the highest res. More hardcore guys might criticize me for this, but for me, this is the most practical test. Because even with Netflix's superior compression algorithms, you need fast, reliable internet to watch Netflix in 4K. Plus, this test is very practical. Not all of us are gamers, but if you're watching this video, then you probably have an interest in watching online video. You're literally watching one now on YouTube. And I'm happy to report that ASUS's mesh worked seamlessly. So easy to link different models to the mesh network, and then from there, coverage was seamless. Your device actually logs on to whatever router or node is providing the best signal and transitions to the best one if you're walking around. This is why Mesh is superior. It does all of the heavy lifting for you so you don't need to think and you can just enjoy the stable, fast Wi-Fi. 
So with the mesh feature, it's easy to blanket your area with Wi-Fi. Crucially, this Wi-Fi is also stable because the Rapture has brains. It has a 2GHz quad-core 64-bit CPU, which is a lot better than most stock routers. Heck, even a lot better than most third-party routers. And a faster CPU is important because it helps the router cope with multiple devices connecting to it at the same time. Kung mabagal yung CPU ng router mo, it won't be able to keep up with that volume of data requests. Those multiple streams of sending and receiving data back and forth from multiple devices. Babagal yung responsiveness of the Wi-Fi on your devices. It's kind of like air traffic control at an airport. You have so many airplanes needing instructions, those are all of the devices connecting to your Wi-Fi. Ganon din yung Rapture. This router is the big airport control tower which can handle lots and lots of data requests and make sure everything runs smoothly. There's a lot more to unpack from this router and to be honest, it's easy to get overwhelmed. It has built-in AI protection, built-in support for sharing to the cloud, built-in VPN support, built-in automatic optimization for the mesh network, parental controls, port forwarding, QoS or quality of service so you can prioritize the data which is passing through your network. It even pulls the servers of popular games so you can check beforehand before logging on to that game which server has the best connection to you. So there are a lot of features going on with this thing but I think it's important to emphasize that it does the basics so well rock solid yung foundation niya. Which is number one, the router is super easy to set up. Number two, it's super easy to set up the mesh network so you have Wi-Fi everywhere. Number three, it can handle an indecent amount of data flowing to so many multiple devices. So you can be sure that your fast internet plan is not going to waste. Bye-bye internet bottleneck. You can enjoy the fast speeds of your internet plan. So the Raptor GT AX11000 Pro is the size of a dinner plate, it's as thick as a console, and it's probably the last router you're ever going to need to buy. To be honest, it's kind of overkill and we haven't even gotten to the price yet. There's a non-pro version of this router which goes for around 25,000 pesos locally, but the pro version, which is the one that we have here, I've only been able to find one on Lazada and it comes from Japan and it's around 46,000. So the price is up there. And if price isn't a consideration, which I know for a lot of the ROG diehards, it's not. A lot of ROG fans have a lot of money that they're happy to spend for the quality of the brand. If budget is no problem, I have no problem recommending this router. You will get insanely fast internet speed to any number of devices that you'd possibly want to connect to it. Plus the advantage of easy setup of a mesh network using other ASUS routers. But sometimes budget is a consideration. And for that, to be honest, you don't need a lot of the super high-end features which this router has. Fortunately, even the other models of ASUS have the basic features which I really like about this particular router. Number one, super easy to set up the router itself. And number two, super easy to set up the mesh network. Those are the key basics that you need to get the most frame rare internet connection which can set up a Wi-Fi network that can host a practical number of devices. Probably more than any home user, even one with a large family, will ever need to worry about. Remember that getting a fast internet plan is just the first step in getting fast internet. You also have to avoid a bottleneck which is usually the provided stock router. So if you want to make the most out of your internet connection, get the most out of your devices accessing your data through your Wi-Fi, then you might want to consider a third-party router like this monster Rapture GT AX11000 Pro. We're giving this beast 4.5 out of 5 stars. It has everything. This is the kitchen sink of routers. You could not ask for anything more and it even works great with older ASUS routers. All of that, and it's super easy to use and set up. The price is high, $450 currently at the ASUS US store, but you're getting a lot for your top dollar. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full-service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. 
Nagbebenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.